trinomial. So for a trinomial to be a perfect square, we learned in the nature of the roots, right? In this nature of the roots, here let's say ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. The discriminant d is b square minus 4ac. Only when the discriminant d is b uh, is equal to a zero, like you saw in problem, it will reach, touch the x-axis, and it goes back to that. For example, if it was x is equal to three, and that expression is going to be x minus three whole square or on expanding it, we saw it before x square minus six x plus nine. What I'm saying is, just find the discriminant. And if the discriminant is equal to zero, you get only one solution. And that expression will be a perfect square trinomial. Let me show it to you first one. Four x square plus eight x plus 16 we have. Four x square plus eight x plus 16. All right, you want to verify if this is a perfect square trinomial. What is your A in this case? A is equal to 4. And your B is 8. You can take a greatest common factor, but I'm not doing it because the whole thing you are checking if it is a perfect square trinomial. We are not factorizing in fact. So, point of our D is B square minus 4AC. Substitute your B is how much? 8 and then square minus 4 times A, that is 4, and the C. 16. So find its value 8 square. Is 8 times 8 64 minus 4 times 4 16 and 16 times 16. You know it is 256. Do you think you are going to get a zero here in this case? I don't think numbers are different. 64 minus 256. And you, when you subtract and see, you are going to get a negative number only. 256 minus 64, I'll take away. Smaller from the bigger, that is here. 2, that is how much? 15 minus 6 gives you how much? 9 and 192, bigger number is negative, so negative 192. The discriminant is less than zero. It is not equal to zero. So this expression is not a perfect square trinomial. And precisely, if you want to talk about the solutions, you know that you are not going to get the real solutions. You'll get no real solutions or complex solutions. That is the result. Okay, so our thing here is verify if these are perfect square trinomials. Which one of these? Now, look for this B, C, and D. Follow the same process. Identify A, B, C, and look for the discriminant. If the discriminant is a zero, if it is equal to zero, it's a perfect square trinomial. Okay, nice.